So I saw uh, a random tag that I wanted to do on uh, another YouTuber's channel. I'll, I'll put her name up at the top. You can visit her channel. It's my mom, Ms. Brazil. Uh, so I'm going to do that. But first, I want to show you what she sent me for Christmas. She made me... Oh, with the light, I'm trying to capture exactly because it looks like red and white on camera, but it's more like it's like a coral. Yeah, it's like a, a deep coral and white. And it's so like so freaking soft. But she made me this beautiful fleece throw for when I get cold. It's got the little fringe at the ends it still sheds a little bit it's it's new um but that'll go away and have this beautiful oh it's so it's like it's like a hug from a cloud <laughs> so thank you thank you thank you i got the best mom in the world okay now i'm gonna do her tag hang on Okay, here we go. What nickname does your family call you? Nikki. They all call me Nikki. My great grandmother used to call me Nikki Icky. She was very creative. <laughs> Everybody who knew me like before the age of 20 calls me Nikki. Um, well, no, no, no. Let me let me clean that up a little bit. At school, I was Nicole. At home and with the kids that lived like around my uh, around my my home. I was Nikki. So when people call me Nikki now, um, is this, nah, it feels weird. What is your biggest pet peeve? I think willful ignorance. People who don't know something and use that in, as an excuse for not doing something, then you point out where they can obtain the information uh, that they need in order to get said activity or said goal reached or done and they still go yeah well, i don't know mm. what drink do you order from starbucks i order usually most often i order a grande decaf latte it's that's basically a medium uh drink 16 ounces decaf and a latte is coffee with steamed milk in it and a little topped with a little bit of foam a cappuccino has um less milk and and more foam yeah grande decaf latte rolls off the tongue except for those days when i i get distracted and i forget to say decaf and then i just have it What's a beauty role you practice but don't preach? Mm. I know the importance of drinking water, staying hydrated. I, I'm so bad at that. I bought a soda stream that carbonates regular water. Like I, I filter my water uh, and I use a Brita pitcher. So it filters the water and then I pour that water into, it's a multi-step process. I pour that water into a carbonating bottle and then I put it in my soda stream and, and push down on it to add carbonation to it. And uh, that makes me feel like I'm, I'm getting a treat. It's not regular water. Water is boring. Like it's just, it's nothing, you know, like it's, it's I don't, so I don't, I don't, I don't drink as much water as I should. So, but the, but the soda stream has helped me a lot. I can always tell when I haven't been drinking enough water because you can see every vein in the back of my hand. Right now, I'm doing pretty well, doing, doing pretty well. You can see a little, you know, like right there's a vein, there's another vein. Um, I've had old lady hands since I was a child, so. But you can see, I look like I don't want to call no name, but I look like an 85 year old woman when I don't drink enough water. My hands are just are terribly, terribly dry. That's the first indicator. And my skin follows suit when I'm properly hydrated. I'm just all plump and glowy. 
Which way do you face in the shower? I face toward the the, <laughs> the shower head. What, what way you face in the shower? What kind of qu oh, like east, west, north, south. Oh, I told you I got no sense of direction. South. Yeah, that way is south. So that's north. <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna make me be stupid on camera. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just have this problem. That's south, that's north, so I'm, I've, I've worked 50% of this out. Then that's, okay, I face east in the shower. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Do you have any weird body skills? I used to be able to put my leg behind my head, both of my legs behind my head, I don't think I can do that anymore. Um, hang on, let me, I'm getting ready to see if I put my leg behind my head, hang on. Uh, that would be a no. I can, I can roll my tongue. I hear not many people can, but mm, I think everybody I know can do that. Only one nostril. I can't, I can't get the other one to do anything without moving, moving my whole face. <laughs> but this one. And I can wiggle my ears too. <laughs> Ta -da! What is your favorite comfort food? Sweets. Yeah. You know, like Sour Patch Kids. <sighs> or like if we could find, um, they used to, they used to call them Cherry Chan, which was a racist name because it had an Asian dude on the front of the box. Um, I don't know what they were trying to do. I don't know if they're trying to do Charlie. Ch I don't really know, but it was this was back in the day, and they had an Asian dude on the on the front of the box, and the candy was called Cherry Chan. Then later they changed it to Cherry Clan, which I think I mean, who wants to eat clan candy? But I did. Um, <laughs> so now it's they're Cherry Heads. I like sour candy that's a little sweet. So that's my comfort food, sour candy. Extreme Sour Patch Kids, what else? Nerds, <laughs> kind of a little crappy candy, you know. That's my, my comfort food. But I'll always take a piece of cake. Except now because I'm not eating sugar. What is your weird habit? I don't think I have any weird habits. I think I'm just doing me, you know, but I've been told, <laughs> I've been told a uh, time or two that I have some weird habits. You know, the habit that I actually have to uh, admit is, is strange. Unless I hear from a bunch of you that it really isn't strange and you do it too. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. When I go to sleep, I don't want, like, the, I'm looking at my, my um, I'm in my bedroom right now and I'm looking at my my closet doors and they have to be closed. Drawers have to be closed. Anything with a lid or a door needs to be closed. Um, and if, if it's not, I have to get up and close. Like I can't, I can't sleep like that. It bothers me, it bothers me so bad. I can probably count on one hand with fingers left over the number of times that I've knowingly had like yeah, something open and I just said, uh, whatever, I'm going to sleep. And and I was probably either just exhausted to the point where I'm just like, I, I can't right now or sick. Um, but anything that can close needs to be closed. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe it's when I was a kid and, and I'm getting ready to go into my, my bag of trauma. Um, but I was a kid. And I thought the Count from Sesame Street was looking at me through the window. Maybe he might be in the closet too, peeking at me. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's that. Do you have any weird, <laughs> weird phobias? Weird phobias. Weird phobias? No, I don't like bugs of any, I don't like bugs. Um, I don't think I have any weird phobias let me keep that in mind and i'll circle circle around back to it at the end what is your nervous habit 
This is hard. <laughs> it's a hard questionnaire. I didn't consider the questions, obviously, before I decided I was going to do this video. What is your nervous habit? <sighs> Maybe talking to myself. I do talk to myself. I do. I do. And when I'm nervous, I basically say things to myself to get myself to not be nervous. You got this, girl. Come on. You got this. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> what was your first stuffed animal? The first stuffed animal that I know about is by duck. This is by duck. And uh, I'll show you by, by duck up close one time. He's not he's not ready for his close up. So at some point I will show you by duck up close. Look at him. He's looking a little peaked back there. Um, he's been through a lot. Basically, I've had him for as long as I can remember. Like his, his existence predates my memory. Um, I, I know the story of him being the, the stuffed toy that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I called him a toy. He doesn't like that. The stuffed duck, is that okay? Okay, I think that's okay with him. He was the duck that my mom would prop my bottle up on <laughs> and, f and feed me. Uh, so he's been with me a long time. He's got an injury. What side of the bed do you sleep on? No matter where I start out, I end up on the left-hand side of the bed. Like if I'm in the bed, I end up on the left. I don't know what that's. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Let me think. Maybe I could change that if I put like my nightstand on the other side. Maybe it has something to do with that. I don't really know. I don't know. But I, I end up on the left side. I don't I, yeah. What is a phrase you always say? There are phrases that I say in my head a lot. Like, girl, bye. Sometimes I'm talking to me. Why is this so hard? <laughs> this questionnaire is so hard. Look, how about this? How about you tell me a phrase that I always say other than um. I do know that I, I get a case of the ums and I can't let it go. <laughs> and I edit out as many as I can. But um, sometimes it does not uh, make for a cohesive video. Are there things that you've heard me say? Some of you know me in person. Uh, a lot of you have only met me through my videos. What's something that I consistently say? Which song do you secretly blast alone? <laughs> alone means that I don't want people to know <laughs> that I listen to this song, right? See, look, I'm trying to find a way around it. I, I subscribe to Spotify and uh, at the beginning of every month, they tell you what you've listened to the month before, like your most listened to songs. And when I got the first report, I laughed so hard because I'm like, okay, of this list of songs, I think it's like 10, half of them had the F word as the, in, the, in the title and like two or three of them had the N word in the title. But hey, you know, sometimes that's where you are. A song that I secretly blast and I'm telling y'all today for the first time ever making it public. I will turn my radio up as loud as it will go in my car um, or in my home. I'll turn it up as loud as I think um, would allow me to continue living here and not get <laughs> get put out. IDFWU. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I may include a link so you can listen to it yourself. But sometimes, you know, you got to tell people IDFWU. All right. It's a horrible, hor I mean, it's catchy. It's a horrible song. It really is. It's a song that I just I feel like, Nicole, you should not be listening to this song. I know. But then I'm yelling at the top of my, my lungs on the 405. Yeah. It's time for bed. What do you have? What do you have on? <laughs> Why'd I do this? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I don't sleep in anything. I, this, is, this is way TMI. But I don't sleep in anything because, look, let me tell you something. I was traumatized. I'm taking my glasses off so you know it's real. I was traumatized as a child because I had to wear these pajamas with the feet. You know, the ones that zipped up the front 
They had like those plastic feet. There was plastic under the bottom. Who, who thought of that? Who wants plastic on their feet when they go, go to sleep at night? You're so zipped in. You just, uh. So I think having to sleep in pajamas with feet and I remember many crying episodes because I could not stand those pajamas and long like prairie little house on the prairie nightgowns and when I would turn over in the bed the gown wouldn't turn with me it was just like stuck and then you like twist it in the gown and the cover and you expect it to go to sleep because if you get up and say I'm hot I need some water you're gonna get a whooping um <laughs> just nothing I don't sleep in anything nah mama there was one that I never answered huh my weird phobia. It would have to be bugs. And not because bugs are um, themselves, bug phobia is weird, but I have an, an unnatural aversion to critters. Especially, oh, don't let me see a roach, please. Please, I can't. Why do people pretend? Answer, answer this, <laughs> this is gone, gone somewhere else. Why do people pretend that water bugs are not roaches? You know, I saw I saw a water bug outside on the door that I usually come in. And so I walked all the way around to the other door. I was like, hey, Mr. Roach. OK, you hanging out there. All right. I'm going to let you do that because because <laughs> not only can you run really fast, but you can fly. And I don't want no parts of none of what you're trying to offer. So I went in a different door. Um, and I told a friend of mine, I was like, yeah, it was a, a roach on the door outside. And he goes, was it a roach or a water bug? It was a big roach, which is what I think a water bug is, a big roach. Why do people think, say they're different? I don't know. Maybe you know. All right, I'm out of here. I will talk to you again soon. <laughs> Bye.